Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today lecture is very important for piping design. In today's video, we will be discussing pressure drop calculations across a pipe with examples and formulas. Pressure drop is a term used to describe the decrease in pressure from one point in a system to another. In fluid systems, pressure drop occurs due to the resistance of the fluid to flow through the pipe. This resistance is commonly referred to as friction loss. The formula for pressure drop across a pipe is given by delta P equals FLD growth R can be work to where delta P is the pressure drop pa. F is the friction factor. L is the length of the pipe M. D is the diameter of the pipe M. Rho is the density of the fluid and V is the velocity of the fluid. Now let's look at an example to better understand how to calculate pressure drop. Suppose we have a 10 meter long pipe with a diameter of 0.1 meters. The fluid flowing through the pipe has a density of 1000 kilograms per cubic meter and a velocity of 2 meters per second. The friction factor is 0.02. Using the formula we just discussed, we can calculate the pressure drop as follows. Delta P equals FLD rho V work 2, delta P equals 0.02100.1102 to the power of 2, 2 delta P equals 4000 pascals. So the pressure drop across the pipe in this example is 4000 pascals. It's important to note that pressure drop is affected by several factors such as fluid viscosity, pipe roughness, and flow rate. Therefore, the formula we just discussed may not be suitable for all situations. Pressure drop calculations are important in fluid systems to ensure that the flow rate is maintained at the desired level. By using the formula we discussed and taking into account all relevant factors, engineers can design systems that are both efficient and effective. Thanks for watching our video today. We hope you found it informative and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.